Because of Winn-Dixie, Chapter 3 I started in on Winn-Dixie right away, trying to clean him up. First, I gave him a bath. I used a garden hose and some baby shampoo. He stood still for it, but I could tell he didn't like it. He looked insulted, and the whole time, he didn't show me his teeth or wag his tail once. After he was all washed and dried, I brushed him good. I used my own hairbrush and worked real hard at all the knots and patches of fur stuck together. He didn't mind being brushed. He wiggled his back like it felt pretty good. The whole time I was working on him, I was talking to him, and he listened. I told him how we were alike. See, I said, you don't have any family and neither do I. I've got to preach her, of course, but I don't have a mama. I mean, I have one, but I don't know where she is. She left when I was two years old. I couldn't hardly remember her, and I bet you don't remember your mama much either. So we're almost like orphans. When Dixie looked straight up, straight at me when I said that to him, like he was feeling relieved to finally have someone understand his situation. I nodded my head at him, and he went back on talking. I don't even have any friends, because I had to leave them all behind when we moved here from Waitley. Waitley's up in the North Florida. Have you ever been to North Florida? When Dixie looked down at the floor, like he was trying to remember if he had. You know what, I said. Ever since we moved here, I've been thinking about my mama extra, extra hard. More than I ever did when I was in Wetley. When Dixie twitched his ears and raised his eyebrows. I think the preacher thinks about my mama all the time, too. He's still in love with her. I know that because I heard the ladies at the church at Wheatley talking about him. They said he's still hoping she'll come back. But he doesn't tell me that. He won't talk to me about her at all. I want to know more about her. But I'm afraid to ask the preacher. I'm afraid he'll get mad at me. When Dixie looked at me hard, like he was trying to say something. What? I said. He stared at me. You think I should make the preacher tell me about her? When Dixie looked at me so hard, he sneezed. I th I'll think about it, I said. When I was done working on him, when Dixie looked down, looked a whole lot better. He still had bulb spots, but the fur that he did have cleaned up nice. It was all shiny and soft. You could still see his ribs, but I intended to feed him good, and that he would t that would take care of that. I couldn't do anything about his crooked yellow teeth because he got into a sneezing fit every time I started brushing them with my toothbrush, and I finally gave had to give up. But for the most part, he looked like a whole lot better, and so I took him into the trailer and showed him to the preacher. Daddy, I said. Hmm, he said. He was working on a sermon and kind of muttering to himself. Daddy, I want to show you the new Winn-Dixie. The preacher put down his pencil and rubbed his nose, and finally he looked up. Well, he said, smiling real big at Winn-Dixie. Well, now, don't you look handsome? When Dixie smiled at back at the preacher, he went over and put his head on the preacher's lap. He smells nice, too, the preacher said. He rubbed on Dixie's head and looked into his eyes. Daddy, I said real real quick before I lost all my nerves. I've been talking to Win Dixie. Is that right? The preacher said. He scratched Win Dixie's head. I've been talking to him and he agreed with me. Since I'm ten years old, you should tell me ten things about my mama. Just ten things, that's all. The preacher stopped rubbing Win Dixie's head and held real still. I could see him thinking about pulling his head back into his shell. One thing for each year I've been alive, I told him. Please. When Dixie looked up at the preacher and kinda gave him a nudge about with his nose. The preacher sighed. He said to Win Dixie, I should have guessed you were going to be trouble. Then he looked at me. Come on, Opal, he said. Sit down and I'll tell you 10 things about your mama.